not going to go super deep into this, but this is uh, just explaining wire sizes and number um, for you know electrical applications. This is something that's normally used for dryers. Uh, this is what's called a 10-3 wire. Now the funny thing about it, well, you know, they just like to make everything a little bit confusing here, but you've actually got four wires. You've got three conductors and a ground. Now the three is for the three conductors. The 10 is the wire size. Uh, wire size also, just to be a little bit funny, um, a smaller wire goes up in number, a larger wire goes down in number. This is a 12 wire, this is a 10 wire. So, you know, 12 being a little bit smaller, 10 being a little bit bigger. This particular one's a 10 3 wire, as I was saying. Uh, it has three conductors. You can see the black hot, the red switched hot, the white is the neutral, so there's your conductors. And additionally, it's got a ground in there. I think it would have been easier just to call it a 10-4 wire, as it has four wires, but the ground is technically not a conductor. It's, uh, you know, just your safety ground. So, uh, you know, on this one, this is a 12-2 wire, and what you've got is two conductors, your hot being the black, your white being the neutral, and then also has the ground, the safety ground. So it's, uh, you know, 12-2 wire, 10-3 wire. This is all kind of in preface as I'm going to go into switched wires a little bit more uh, troubleshooting and a little bit more in depth doing a few videos uh, about how switched outlets are run and um, you know troubleshooting and figuring out if you had something go wrong I actually had a switched outlet where all the outlets on the circuit were being controlled by the switch so I'm going to discuss the troubleshooting and then I'm going to go through how the wires should be run now um, for general outlets and general wiring they're probably using a 12 wire like you see here but they'll use a a 12-3 a for the switched wire, but again, I'll go into that in more detail in uh, upcoming, uh, you know, uh, some some upcoming videos. And it really depends on your particular code, your particular area, the wire sizes that are used, and the things that are going on based on the amps of the circuit, and uh, the particular setup and code uh, for your area. So all of this, you'll have to double check with your particular code and. Uh, you know what's required in your particular area anyway thanks for watching kung fu maintenance this is a little bit about wire sizes and the trickiness of wire sizes 10 3 wire 12 2 wire and all of that thanks for watching kung fu maintenance over now. This is romex wire and the label is usually printed on there 12 2 you know 12 cu2 the CU is the chemical symbol for copper, and then the CDR, that's conductor, two conductors, with a 12 ground. So just print it inside there. And similarly, this is the 10-3. So let's see if I can bring this up. Okay. Simple AUG 10 CU3 conductor with AUG 10 ground. Type NMB. All right. Okay, and the NM stands for non-metallic sheath cable, and the B indicates the temperature range it can withstand up to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the temperature the wire can handle before the sheathing or the insulation starts breaking down. Walking through this world, I could feel the pressure, but I could take it.